Who wants to hear a story? Me. Okay, okay. A couple of New Jersey hunters are out in the woods, and when one of them falls to the ground, he doesn't seem to be breathing, his eyes are rolled back into his head, and the other guy whips out his cell phone and calls the emergency services. He gasps to the operator, my friend is dead, what can I do? The operator, in a calm, soothing voice, says, just take it easy, I can help. First, let's make sure he's dead. There is silence, and then a shot is heard. Okay, now what? <laughs> Okay. I think we're going to my guy now to do that. Oh. Um, bull. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Bull Donut from the Never Regret Clan, and today we're going to take you into Machinimate This, Episode 12. In today's episode, we're going to show you how to add objects such as an Xbox 360 into Halo 3. In order to do this effect, you will need a video editor that can transform layers and a video editor that can either chroma key or create masks. As always, I will be using Sony Vegas 7. However, there are other video editors that can do this effect. So, without further ado, let's get going. First things first, when you set out the film for this effect, there is one thing that you need to keep in mind at all times. This one rule is that you need to make sure that you act and record far enough away from the object that you're going to place in, or the area that the object is going to be placed in, so that you don't have it appear to be someplace that it shouldn't be. So, as long as you keep your actors away from the designated area, you will be okay. After that, you will need to get the image that you are going to insert. This isn't all that hard, seeing as though we have things such as Google Images where you can type it in and it'll come up. However, you do need to make sure that the background is a solid color that can be chroma keyed out or that the object can be easily cut out with a masking effect. After that, import them in to Sony Vegas 7. The first thing that you will need to do is to cut the clip out of the Halo 3 section of the film that you want to insert the object into. After doing this, create a new video layer and place it above the Halo 3 film layer. After doing this, take the image and place it on the top video layer. Then either chroma key or mask the background out. I personally prefer the chroma key, mostly because it is easier and you get more of the background out. Also, you don't have to worry about having jagged edges, which can occur when you have a masking effect. After removing the background, we need to then shrink the layer. For this, I recommend switching the layer type to 3D Source Alpha. To do this, click on the double green box on the layer area as shown here. Then, click on 3D Source Alpha. Then you are all set and ready to go. Now, it is time to edit the layer and shrink it into the correct size. The reason that I put the objects into a 3D layer is because I like to modify the angles they are at in order to make these 2D pictures look more believable in a 3D environment. So, after you have edited the size and have exited it out of the video, simply put the time correctly by shrinking the clip, making the clip longer, and whatnot, and then you are done with this effect. Please, do not send any more questions to this at gmail.com, seeing as though this series is now over. 
This is Bold Donut from the Never Regret Clan, saying peace out guys, and thank you for watching the Shinimate This. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh my god! Oh, my god. That's right, Jimmy! That's right! That's right, Jimmy! That's right! Oh, Jimmy! Oh! oh my god! Oh my god! You come in while he's doing that. Is Billy, is Billy in my mind? Get them out.